How you doing again? My name is C.L. Butler with Kingdom Builders Covenant Exchange Ministries. Uh, Ministries. We thank God for all those that's been sharing with us each week. We thank God for all of you. Amen. We thank God for all the prayers and all those that's connected to us uh, each week. And uh, I thank God for all of you, um, you know, going, you know, for the future that God send his blessings towards your way. And those that have been donating to our outreach ministry, we want to thank God for all of you because it's been number but a, a, a blessing. It's, it also has been a miracle for those that we give out uh, care package to. But other than that, I want to thank God for uh, my family and my wife and uh, what she does. And I uh, thank God for her and her abilities. And uh, I thank God for her because I can tell you, she wouldn't be with us, be with me right now. I don't think I'd be doing this right now. But thank God for the push that she uh, pushes me to, to the right purpose of being a good leader and a good father or, or a good friend to whoever. But uh, other than that, I thank God for you, uh, for allowing me to be in your home, from our home to your home. And I pray God that this word that <clears throat> that's going to impact your life. Um, I pray God you have an ear to hear because one thing about it, when, whenever God's speaking, you want to be listening. Because one thing about it, God gives great nuggets. He gives good information that can prepare you going over, uh, or crossing over to 2021. And I thank God for all of that. Because one thing about this Sunday morning, uh, it's going to be a blessing today. And I really believe it. Uh, if you got your um, iPad or whatever uh, you have, your um Bible or Bible app, whatever it may be. We're going to be in the King James um, from Lamentations today. Uh, we're going to be in King James and Lamentations chapter 3, verses 21 through 26. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. I'm going to give you a moment so you can gather yourself. Amen. Uh, I tell you, I just, I know God was giving, he been giving so many good words, man. I pray, God, that the goodness of God be with you. I pray, God, that you don't leave this season without God. Because one thing about it, whenever you're in a war or going through a situation, you want God to be your banner. You want him to be your shield and buckler in this season that you're in. Uh, amen. Because one thing about it, anywhere, any place I go, I'm asking, hey, God, you go before me. Uh, wherever the traps are, whatever the enemy lies, God, you reveal it to me. Amen. But other than that, if you got it, Limitations chapter 3. Verses 21 through 26. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. And verse 21 in Limitations chapter 3, verses 21. And it reads like this in the scriptures. This I recall to my mind. Therefore, I have hope. It, it is the Lord's mercy that we are not consumed because his compassion fail not. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, said my soul. Therefore, will I hope in him. And the Lord is good upon them that wait for him. To the souls that seek him. It is good that a man should both hope and quiet waiting for the salvation of the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Let's, let's pray. God, first off, I want to give you honor for what you're about to do right now, Father God. God, we ask you at this moment to propel our minds and propel our hearts to the word of truth today, Father God. But God, we ask you at this moment to show your blood, show your mercy today, Father. Show the information that we need, God, to move or transition or whatever we need to do, Father God. But God, we thank you for this moment, God, to send forth your love to those that need your love right now, God. Those that's lost or confused or uh, looking the way out, God, I'm asking to be faithful to them to make a way of escape at this moment. But God, I'm asking you at this moment, God, as I step down at this moment, Father, God, allow you to step up just so you, we can have a word from you, God. Not from our, from our flesh, but a word from the spirit of God. But God, be the king of glory at this moment, God. 
flood our minds, flood the situation, whatever we're dealing with at our jobs or at home or uh, with our spouse or with our children, whatever it may be, Father, anything that's holding us bound, Father. But God, I'm asking you to bring an uplifting today, God, in our spirit, bring joy today, bring peace today, bring clarity today, Father God. But God, we thank you for whatever the enemy lies, God. God, allow your blood to be covered on anything that the enemy sets and traps to bind us and keep us where we're stuck, God. But God, I thank you for a releasing today. And God, I thank you for this word today. In Jesus' mighty name, thank God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Limitations chapter 3, verses 21 through 26. Mm. Our uh, title for this lesson coming out of Limitations chapter 3, verses 21 through 26 is God's transition to goodness. God's transition to goodness. <laughs> Let's dig. We understand here in this text that God had gave me, because our key scripture here is verse 23, 3 and 23. And it said it like this. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. We see here in this text, it's it very much state in the scripture from the commentary, having state this distress and temptation, the prophet shows how he was arise above it. Bad as things are, it is this own mercy of God that they are not worse. We should observe that what makes for us as well would, or what is against us, God's compassion fell or not. Of this, we have flesh in, 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 intense, excuse me, every morning. The portion of the earth is perish of things, but God's portions forever. It is his own duty that we be our comfort and satisfying to hope and quiet to wait on the salvation of the Lord. The afflictions do when we work very much for good. Many have found good to bear the yoke in our youth. It is now made many humble and serious was yearned them than in this world. Who otherwise would have been proud and unruly. We see in this moment in Levitations chapter 3, verses 21 through 26, we can see that God is in a position here dealing with the prophet Jeremiah. We can definitely understand that limitations is part of the chapter before limitation was Jeremiah, was uh, another half of five different particular instinctive poems that Jeremiah spoke about. And then we also understand why God was in this position in chapter three. Well, the prophet said it very clearly that he felt the affliction of the, the rod of God. We can see that this chapter of limitation was based off of Jeremiah understanding that the Babylonians were God's instrument to bring judgment unto Jerusalem and make it clear that their sins were rebellious, which the cause of God's wrath. But we can understand that the word limitations brings for a passionate <clears throat> expression of grief or sorrow. 
we can see in the third chapter it was based off of prayer, a prayer of mercy, because one thing about it, uh, some uh, the theologians call this prophet a weeping prophet. And not knowing Jeremiah had seen so many devastations between uh, chapter one up to chapter 31. And we can understand that Jeremiah was one of those uh, peculiar prophets, amen, and very sensitive to the spirit of God. And we can understand that Jeremiah was very powerful in a lot of ways and prophetic because he understood what, what God was doing and not knowing that he showed so many different visions and not knowing that Jerusalem <clears throat> was in a, a state of disobedience with God. And you can understand how God was, was in a position where he was showing so much mercy, but not knowing they was taking advantage of God's grace. Hallelujah. And, and I can tell you in this moment that we're in, in this condition, we can see that in this year of 2020, we can see so much devastation, not just in sickness, but in uh, protesting and other different things that have changed the order of this season. But we can understand why God had transitioned from, from, from wrath to good. Uh, we can understand that because you think about it, uh, the word transitioning meaning a process, a period of changing from one state into another condition. Because you think about it, in this particular chapter or in this all these chapters and limitations that God was so um, so frustrated because the people of God was out of place, amen. Oh God, it was acting like harlots in the street, like allowing them to do whatever they want to do. Oh God, help us God. And I can thank God because one thing about it, God always have a plan for our lives, amen. But sometimes our plans can mess up the plan because of our ways and our, oh God, help us, Jesus, of our dis disobedience towards God. Oh God, and not knowing that God is so good and merciful. Hallelujah. And we can understand that in this particular motion that, that the prophet was weeping for the people of God. And I can understand that so many prophets and preachers are crying out because so many lives was being lost and so many have forsaken God. Oh, God help us, Holy Spirit. We can see in this particular chapter that God had led the prophet in a dark place where he was afflicted by God's wrath. Oh, God help us, God. Because one thing I've learned that God can't stand foolishness and evilness and people just trying to harm one another. Come on, somebody. We can see in Genesis what God had flooded the earth because of the evil works of man, amen, because of their wicked ways and disobedience, didn't want to, nothing to do with God. Oh, God, help me, Jesus. That's one thing about it that God understands because if he peeled it up, come on, somebody. He'll destroy it himself before he'll let us destroy it. Come on, somebody. And we can see here and in this moment here how God was just, oh, was in a, a moment how a mother and father, a, 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 a mother tired of her child. Oh, God, help us, help us, holy God. Oh, God, help us, help us. Not knowing that God was in a place, amen. Oh, God, trying to set things up for us to be in a good place. But we forsake the good place for the bad. Oh, God, help us, God, help us. Oh, Jesus, I thank God because he tell us, oh, God, I, I would never leave you or uh, leave you comfortless. I thank God for him showing compassion. Uh, just like in verse 22, uh, it, it tells it very clearly that God, Lord, mercy were not 
consumed the world. We was not consumed, but because of his compassion and love towards us. It wasn't for us to, to be in ashes, but be in prosperity. Oh, God, help us, God. That's what God wants us to be. He wants us to be in a better place, not in sickness, but to be healed, not in lack, but to be prosperous, not to be unbelieved, but be in faith. Oh, God, help us. God is always trying to put us in the right state, but because of our evil ways and our evil heart that changes God's mind. Oh, Jesus, help us, Holy Ghost. That's why the prophet was praying like he was praying. Just like when mama prayed for me, amen. Because of my evil ways and not wanting to submit to God. But one day, oh, God, help us, God. The mercy of God snatched me up in, in the time where I was Falling into a deep pit. Come on, somebody. That's why I thank God because at this motion here, God was transitioning to goodness because you think about it, beforehand, we was in a, a way of disobedience and our wicked mindset didn't want nothing to do with God. Just like in Isaiah, one moment after another moment, when God was telling me, I have a burden with you. God was so discouraged and frustrated with the people of God. Oh, God. And then at the end, he said, oh, let's come reason together. Oh, God. When God made the earth and made everything in inhabitants and made the trees and the mountains and the ocean and not knowing he didn't do it for himself. Oh, Jesus, help us, God. God is always trying to give us something that we uh, not knowing we didn't deserve it. Come on, somebody. Oh, God. But we see at this motion here, Oh, God, that, that, that there was going through a, a, a series of situations. If you ever read Jeremiah, what God had put the people in 70 years captivity because of a disobedience towards God. Oh, Jesus, help us, God. But God, in the process of them being captive, but God was still trying to bless them. Oh, Jesus, help us, God. Lord, help us. Sometimes our ways and our selfishness can keep us so far from God. Oh, God, help us. Sin can keep us away from God. When we're thinking that we know more than God, we, we know better than God. When we try to do our own scientific ways and thinking, oh, I can be better than God and without him. I don't have to pray. I don't have to get on my knees. I don't have to be good. I don't have to be that. But I thank God that he showed mercy. Oh, Jesus. Thank God for mercy, y'all. Because one thing about it that God it said it very clearly in that scripture that he, he, he could have easily consumed it, but he didn't consume us. But he gave us, oh my God, a new opportunity. When he said they are new every morning, his grace is new every morning. His, his mercy are new every morning. When he give us another opportunity, oh God, to get it right with God. But sometimes we take that advantage and not know that God still show mercy. Oh Jesus, I can hear my mother crying and praying over me to my God, please give him another chance. Oh God, she quoting this particular scripture. Oh, God. God, you told us we can have new mercies every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Not knowing that God will make a way of escape out of whatever situation that you're in. Oh, God, if you can just put down the wheat, if you just put down the look about it. God have promises for us and our souls and being. If we can put down our malice, if we can put down our if it's ways, malice and everything else, we can put it down so God can do whatever he needs to do. So he can transition us into a better place. Oh, Jesus, help us, God, because our ways can displease God and bring forth the wrath of God. And see, the enemy knows that. That's why he put us in, in situations where we will forsake God instead of, instead of bless God. Oh, thank you, God. Oh, Lord, help us, God. 
Thank you, Jesus. I, I, I thank God for the Spirit of God. Because one thing about it, he tells us very clearly in Jeremiah 29. He said, I know, oh, come on, somebody, that he, he knows our ways. Amen. Hallelujah. He said, for I know, oh, God, help us, God. For I know that the thought that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thought of peace and not of evil. Oh, Jesus, not to, to quickly to, to try to destroy us. Oh, God, to give you an expected end. Oh, God, I have almost Oh, God, I know this should have been crazy. I know everything been tore up. But I heard God say, oh, Jesus, God, I come here with, with peace in my hand, not destruction. Oh, God, don't allow your ways to get in my way. Oh, God, help it, God. Oh, God. God has a plan and strategy for you, young lady. Oh, God, your business owner. Oh, my God. Oh, come on, your person that's owning a new home. Oh, God, a new nonprofit, whatever it may be. Oh, God, God has got to expect an end to this. You're not going to die in this season, but prosper and be in good health. Oh, God, where the Bible says in Deuteronomy 28, and it, not, it came to pass. Oh, God, and we hearken under the voice of God. Oh, we got to hear something to get information. We got to obey something to, to plan and strategize. What are we trying to do? Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. One thing I can tell you, that God is so good to us. Oh, God. Oh, God, I thank God for the transitioning when God went from one moment to another moment. Oh, God, he, he knew that he had to get here from this one place to another place. Oh, God, if you ever read Malachi, the last word was, a, we was a curse. Oh, God, help us, God. Thank you, Jesus, that he had to come down from 42 generations to this moment. Oh, God, help us, God. Not knowing that God had to transition from, from being in the kingdom into to a, a peasant of a child. Oh, God, hallelujah. That was saved the, the souls of men. Oh, God, that the government shall be upon his shoulders. God understood. Oh, God, hallelujah. That we, he, he knew that we had to have another way. Oh, God, because I, we know that God is faithful. Oh, God, do you know that God is faithful? Baby, he's a faithful to make a way of escape. Oh, he can get you a way of escape from whatever situation that you're dealing with. Oh, he can give you a way of escape, whatever that's keeping you bound, that you can't get up out of the bed. Those migraine headaches when you can't sleep at night, restless nights. But I can tell you, God is transitioning in a good in, in goodness. Oh God. Now I understand why, why Jesus told the young ruler, ain't no one good but God. Oh, he's so right about it. Ah, oh, God. I thank God that he, he allowed me to be in my right state of mind. Uh, don't get so arrogant and thinking that you woke up on your own, that your alarm clock woke you up. But I think God woke you up. Ah, uh, God, help us, Holy Spirit. I thank God for this moment. That God is allowing us to be protected with around his blood. Oh, God, huh? to change our, our ways of thinking, of thinking that we are better than God. I think we, we can do this without God. Oh, shame on us. Lord, help us, God. Help us, God. I can understand why oh, the prophet cried. Oh, God, if you ain't never read Levitations, read it all. Lord, help us. Because we, we, we get in, in, in crazy situations. And I know you've been here. God, if you allow me to get out of this, whoa, hallelujah. I won't do this again. Ah, oh, come on, somebody. Oh, come on, somebody. You know you talk to God like that. Lord, if you can get me out of this, whoa, I won't go back to this. Oh, God. Oh, Lord Jesus, something about that weeping cry. Ah, oh, God, showing mercy unto God. Oh, God, God, we need you at this moment uh, to change our ideas and ways, amen. We can't do this without you. Oh, God, I can understand why the prophet did what he did. 
Oh God, and when he was talking about it, it, it's new every morning. Baby, I understand it might be a bad day, but it's, it's still your best day. Oh God, help, help us, God. I mean, you still got an opportunity. Whatever happened yesterday, if you made it to this moment, that weeping may, oh God, do it for not, but joy. Oh, Jesus. But joy. Oh, joy in the morning time. Ah, oh, God. Not, not knowing that you, you didn't know how you got home. But drunk as a scout. But God made a way that he made you get in at the proper time. So many things could have happened at you at that moment. Doing foolishness that you know that you weren't even supposed to be at. But thank God for grace. Oh, God, help us, God. Thank God for grace. Oh, God, I thank God he didn't take me out when I was in my sins. Oh, thank you, Holy Spirit. Not knowing I was in at the wrong. Not knowing he could have hit the, the battle. Oh, God, and put charge me at that moment. But thank God that he allowed me to live at this moment. Oh, Jesus. That's why he's so good to us. Because he can judge us at any time or moment. He can judge us at 12. He can judge us at 16. He can judge us at 21. He can judge us at 25. He can judge us at 30 or 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. God can judge us but because of his mercy. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Lord, help us. Uh, because of our own foolishness, uh, we should have been guilty. But because of his love, in 1 John and 3, he said, what man of love is this that the Father bestowed upon us? Oh, God. And I know we messed up time and time again. I keep saying the same thing over and over again. God, if you can get me through this. How many times have you said that? Come on, somebody. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you for this moment, God. Oh, God, you saved our mind. Save our soul. Save my child. You saved my house. You saved my wife. You saved my husband. You saved my business. Oh, God, you saved us. Oh, God, so many other things could have happened, but God is shielded from, from happening. Oh, God, I thank God for God's transitioning to goodness. Because one thing about it, oh, God, if God didn't have goodness, man, we'd be in trouble. Lord, help us, God. Thank you, Jesus. I'm just so glad. Oh, I'm so glad he had a plan for me. Oh, God, I'm so glad. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He had a plan for me that I didn't know the plan. But he knew the plan. He knew, he knew the plan that I shall pass with me in good health. Oh, he knew what I needed. But I didn't know what I needed. I thought I knew what I needed. But God understood what, oh God, God. Oh, help us, God. Help us, Holy Spirit. I thank God for it. That God, he, he, he's given us so much goodness, so unworthy favor. Oh, God, I, you know that God gave you favor. Come on, somebody, talk back with me now. You know God gave you favor, not knowing that, girl, you know you shouldn't have had that job. God, you know, you. oh, come on, somebody. Thank you, Jesus. You know you're supposed to have that car. Come on, somebody. You know you're supposed to have that child. They told you you could have that child. Thank you, Holy Ghost. God has done some great things for us. When people thought you was down and you came out of nowhere. Oh, God, you got to give God some glory on this year. Lord, have mercy. If your children are still alive, your mother and father are still alive, oh, if your up being alive. You should give God some glory oh, for the transition. The God's transition to good. In spite of our own wrongdoings. And I know that in that part where you're talking in this recall of the, of the mind. Therefore that I have hope is in the Lord's mercies. That we are not consumed because this compassion fell at night. That are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. The Lord is my portion, said my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. And the Lord is good upon them that wait for him. To the souls that seek him, he is the good that the man should both hope and quietly wait for the salvation of the Lord. 
I can definitely tell you, if God didn't transition to goodness, I wouldn't be here right now. I thank God for every experience that I've went through. I thank God for everything that I've experienced. I thank God for everything that God seen fit that I can handle the suffering that I went through. I thank God for that because it could have been different. It could have been different. But I thank God that he's had enough. <laughs> Lord, help me. Help me, Jesus. I thank God every day he allowed me to stand in front of you in this priestess where he could have chose so many other people. He didn't have to allow me to be a great, be a, a, a good father. He, he didn't have to do that for me. He didn't have to give me a, a beautiful wife. He didn't have to give me beautiful children. So many things that God gave you. And sometimes we, we don't understand that it could have been worse could have been in the worst situation. And I know that when God transitioned from the place where he was in, when he was mad at us, he was mad at us at one time. But because his heart changed, because you got to realize transition is, is a, a process of a period of changing from one state or a condition to another. And I thank God that he changed his mind. I could imagine how hot Hezekiah felt when God changed from one, where he transitioned from one thing to another, from judgment of him staying alive and gave him another 15 years not knowing that Hezekiah was, was definitely in the wrong. And we turned his face to the wall and told God, can't the rocks cry out to your name? I just thank God for this moment of this season that I'm in. I thank God for what God has shown me in this season. And I, I pray, God, that you see, that you can look back and see that we could have been a lot better than what we was. And, we, and it should have been worse than what it was. From my family, to my mom and dad, and my mother-in-law, and my, my brother, and all those that's connected to with me. And I thank God for what he has done for us all. But I thank God for those that that's in leadership and position. But I just wanted to put that out there that don't forget. It could have been you on the other side of the window. That God transitioned to his goodness, not his wrath. Not sickness, but being healed. Not lack, but prosper. Not unbelief, but to faith. I pray, God, that this word impacts you in some way that you share it. Let somebody know about it. Because if they need it, share it to them. Give it to them. But for those that understand, minister, I need, I need a, a change of thought at this moment. I need something different. I didn't realize God was really good to me. And I can understand that he really did change his wrath into goodness. And I pray that, that you share this word, but not hold this word. 
because it's one of those words that you want to give out for this season that we're in. And for those that are looking for salvation, I got this little small deal. If you can repeat after me. Dear Lord Jesus, I know that I'm a sinner and I ask for your forgiveness. I believe that you died for my sins and rose from the dead. I turn from my sins and invite you to come in my heart and life. I want to, to trust. I want to trust and follow you as my Lord and Savior, you, Lord and Savior. I do repent for this. If you said that prayer, I believe God is transitioning your mind and how you was towards God into a better place. We changed your mindset, changed your idea that he gave you a new heart and new spirit. I pray for those that, that the, the Lord be with you at the end of this year. And don't forget to take God with you in this season 2021. I thank God for everyone. I thank God for my children. I thank God for my wife. I thank God for this moment. My name is Sia Butler, Kingdom Builders Company Shames Ministries. We thank God for all of you. Much love. Stay blessed.